Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In this video, I'm participating in the Entertaining for the Holidays collaboration being hosted by the lovely Lisa Burningham and Antoinette from Simple Yet Chic. These are both great channels, lots of home decor, DIYs, things that you're going to love. I'm going to link both ladies' channels in the description box below as well as the playlist so you can get tons of great entertaining ideas for this upcoming holiday season. Now the first thing I like to do for the holidays is to have my appetizers and as many of the foods as I can in individual serving portions. It's a lot easier for my guests to grab something that's um, already in um, individual portions they can just grab one add it to their plate and they're good to go i love doing things on a stick so i you just seen margarita on a stick i have salad on a stick i like to do fruit salad on a stick i'll even do desserts strawberry shortcake on a stick so i love to do, put my foods on a stick and just have them the individual portions so my guests can just grab one and you know call it a day easy for me easy for them I also recommend that when you're displaying your foods, try to be as creative as possible. I, um, I have like an arrangement of cupcakes. I didn't do as much as I could for you guys here. I just couldn't pull all of the clips and videos from the previous years together and I haven't done anything yet for this year. So come back next year, you'll see more of that. I also recommend that you try at least one new recipe every year and you never know, it may become a new traditional uh, family favorite. For us, it's this uh, cranberry white sangria that I made a few years ago and everyone loved it and now it's always on our uh, menu whenever we have our guests over because they all love our white cranberry sangria. Another recipe that I tried and absolutely love is this pumpkin roll. It is so good. So, so good. I think you can find the recipe for this on the back of the Libby's can. I just added a few more touches, a little extra spice, uh, my touches to make it my own. But it is so delicious and I always like to try at least one new recipe so my family can also try it and then give me their opinions whether they like it or not and if we should include it next year in our uh, gatherings. But this pumpkin roll is one of our favorites. We all love it now and it will be on every Thanksgiving menu is the pumpkin roll now. So <laughs> definitely try at least one new recipe every year. Another tip that I have for you guys is to make all of your family's favorites all you say yes uh, my family I, I like to make exactly what they like so like for my example my grandmother loved my coconut rock buns and even though she's no longer with us every year I still make rock buns because it's a traditional recipe that my mother-in-law gave to me my grandmother loved it everyone in my family loves it I make it both at Christmas and Thanksgiving Easter whenever it is an occasion I have rock buns around the house so that's definitely one of the things I always do I also love cheese straws uh, this is a traditional Guyanese recipe um, always every year no matter what occasion we will have cheese straws around it's a great little appetizer snack so I, I make everything that is a favorite for my family things that they always love eating and another Guyanese uh, favorite for us and this is also something that my grandmother absolutely loved and I always had to make it every single occasion for her is pineapple tarts this is I have my own way of making these pineapple tarts but it's a traditional, uh, I guess, West Indian Guyanese uh, pastry. It's just pineapple jam in a pastry crust. And of course, we all love our chocolate banana, chocolate chunk banana bread. So again, every single year, every occasion, I will make it uh, just because that's what my family loves. My aunt loves pineapple upside down cake. My husband also likes it. So I, like I said, I will make everyone's favorite so they're all happy. And those are Guyanese chicken patties. I love those and I tend to make those just to keep us going during the prepping. So I may not make it for all my guests but I'll definitely make it you know so that we have something to munch along while I'm cooking and preparing for the holidays. Of course 
I like, again, individual serving size of everything. My kids love chocolate cupcakes. Of course I'm going to make chocolate cupcakes because I want them to eat the things that they like and always associate the holidays with the, their memories of their favorite foods. I also recommend serving food buffet style. We don't do the sit down dinner. My family is very, very casual. We'll eat in front of the TV. We'll eat on the, pa uh, the patio. Wherever we want to sit and eat and chat or walk around with our plate even, that's how we do it. So I tend to do buffet style uh, food just because it makes it easy for me and that's the way my family prefers it. And then of course, traditional cultural foods. Um, Guyanese culture around Christmas time, we do black cake, which is something that is a must at Christmas time. So I always make black cake. I do decorate cakes and I haven't done it in quite a while because of some hand issues but every year I will save my decorating skills for that time of the year so I can make black cake for my family and decorate it you know with the traditional uh, royal icing so always always try to include some sort of cultural traditional food that you can pass on to your family members and your kids for future generations you know they'll always remember this is something that my mom always made every Christmas because it comes from her country and it's what they always ate so and of course here in America I have to have my Christmas cookies I love spritz cookies and I I will bake like I don't know three four pounds of this stuff gingerbread cookies traditional foods I think is uh, very important to have at the holidays also in our Guyanese culture every year we like to make other types of rum cakes besides black cake and I discovered a really great recipe of how to make that tortuga style rum cake and now this has become and the last five years a must-have at my family gatherings everyone love this rum, loves this rum cake and I make it every single year and I will be doing it again this year so again traditional family cultural foods that you know you know wherever you're from there has to be some food that you always eat every holiday season try to include it in your family menu your family will appreciate it and uh, lastly for us at Christmas time Guyanese people we love to eat pepper pot and bread that is actually a Christmas morning breakfast lunch or dinner your choice and that is something that I make every single year at Christmas I don't know why I don't do it more often because we all love it but I think it tastes so much better because we wait for to eat it and enjoy it at Christmas time and then my last tip is to make sure that you have made extras and that you have containers so that your family members and guests can take along a plate or a container of food so that they can enjoy it later on at their own time. So thank you guys for watching. I will leave the links to both of our hostesses' channels. Please do hit that like and subscribe button. Have a wonderful day everyone. Bye!